I want to show you how to make the everyday screwdriver kit for the wallet that actually has just weighs just 65 grams or less, uh, 20 sizes of bit drivers, and it should be fully functional. So nothing really that wouldn't work. As the starter, we have the PB Swiss Tools PB 470M adapter, which is part of the bike tool, weighs officially nine grams. So this is the centerpiece of our hack if you want pb swiss tools adapter it, it's really amazing uh, how small and how powerful the magnets are the tolerances this is the hex 5 part and this is the quarter for the quarter inch bits now we go to the main course the main dish there we use the allen hex key it's a size 5 in my uh, case it's the Vera 950 P, uh, PKS, quite fancy one, but does have a ballpoint here. Yeah, you can, but you can use any, but I needed one that was as long, so I chose this one. It's 90 millimeters long. And we have the Topic 8 millimeter socket T1339. It's this little thing here. Topic is really, really good at having all kinds of spares for their tool. And this is part of several bike tools, actually. And it will be put onto a hex 5 uh, key or driver. So let's check. Here we have hex 5, and now I've just put it on. I can also use it here, but hex 8 is usually for really tough stuff. So you want leverage, and therefore you would use it this way. Actually, uh, in order to have more leverage, you can get a bit longer. And what you can do with it is, and I did over several weeks, uh, this is a crank set, and typically the square tapered um, are hex 8. And I had to do quite a few of them because there was a bit of a problem with it. Uh, so I tested this kit and it worked to perfection. Now the hex five, you know that from stuff like DIY and IKEA, this is really an old catalog. So there's a prop here. And um, IKEA is really known for hex five keys, but this one is a much nicer kit. And of course you can then just extend it, have a better grip um, and well, or use it this way. IKEA is often also having these weird S-shape uh, keys that I personally don't like, to put it mildly. So that's how we assemble the kit now and get rid of the prop. Oh yeah, weighing. So how much does everything weigh? So this was nine grams. We already did that. And here we go for the key. It's about 18 grams and that should be about two or three grams. Here we go. Now, the toppings are of your choice. And I say toppings because that's really how many and types of uh, toppings or precision bits you want. For all this, we need a precision bit adapter, which is this little thing here. So it's a quarter inch bit that can be used for precision bits. So you simply insert it into the key, and there we go. And the weird thing is that uh, although there are two adapters, one on top of each other, the tolerances are amazing. So it doesn't really rattle. It, well, it does rattle, but far less than um, I'm used to with normal ratchets, even good ones. Now, now we get into the precision bits, the four millimeter hex, and uh, the double-sided ones. So the difference here is simply weight mostly. So this is a typical one. I chose the um, Torx 20, T20. So um, this is, a, you just insert it and the shaft is relatively long. Um, this works really very nicely. If you want to use it like a normal screwdriver, for example, this one is perfect. Um, by the way, if I need hex 4, which I do uh, for some bike adapters, then, well, here yeah, we have um, hex 4. Just the other side, any kind of um, precision bit, just of course, if you switch it over, it's hex four. Now we get to the core part of the whole system, which are the double-sided precision bits. Um, it's, it's They're nicely spelled out here on each, uh, here we go. I don't know if you can read it, um, but those are the ones I need. There are six, so I have 12 sizes and they weigh about two grams each. I just put everything on it. So yeah, 11 grams, a little bit less than two grams on average, but we don't care. We just want to use them. Now, precision bits are really, really useful uh, in home applications, uh, in, in modern parts for, for um, small uh, devices. So in this case, I just have here an old uh, balance and uh, we have got the, the, the key here and I'm just checking this should be it. I'm just inserting that one. And there we go. But actually, because it's precision uh, bits, you would more likely use it this way because it's much easier to manipulate the key. So 
Now we get to the last part, which are the normal bits, the 25 millimeter long quarter inch bits. This is really the standard. These two are standard ones. Um, sometimes they have these color coded uh, pieces, but usually they don't. This is the sh shank, I think it's called, that is driving uh, the piece, and this is then the screwdriver size. Um, we now take off the adapter. So now it's a normal uh, quarter inch screwdriver. And there we go, hex six. Now, hex six, that is a bit more powerful stuff. And I've used it. This, don't ever forget, this uh, adapter is of the bike tool by PB Swiss Tools, and therefore this is a normal bit. So this is really something that easily can take uh, lots and lots of newton meters. And these old saddles, for example, if you want to uh, size them or refit them, they're really a pain. And um, I did quite a number of them recently in order to test the kit, and it works. Now, the other one is Torx 25. Again, easy. And to top it off, I have here an 18 millimeter quarter inch bit, which is often called a stubby bit. This is here. But don't try to search for it as a stubby bit um, because then you will get lots of Google results or whatever search engine you use for stubby screwdrivers. That is not the same. This is just the only one I have. I plan to have a few more so that I can even size down these two because see how this fits here. It just sticks out. So it's covered entirely by the adapter. And actually, this magnet, magnet works really well. Whereas this one here, you see that there's quite a bit, like five millimeters that stick out and are not used. There's no reason to keep them. And you want to save any weight or um, size you, you need. So here we go. Um, so that you believe me, we wanted to cover 65 grams. So 31. Then uh, the adapter, 30. Five, so this is the whole driver set, and then now with all these bits, 63 grams. So I think we succeeded quite well. And for comparison, you know, 20 screwdriver sizes. This one here is a Topic Ratchet. Now I push out the bit holder because some people might not want to use it. So 10 bits, a hex eight as well, 97 grams, so nearly 100. Well, we are already 40 more, and we have 10 bits to go. I really chose uh, randomly, but different sizes, even so smaller ones that I think this one here really is a case for a precision bit driver because this one is completely over-engineered if you want to use these for such small screws. Well, there we go. 141. And if I then add the uh, bit holder, which even is a short one, very lightweight one, um, this is the way I think I would use a ratchet anyway. So 160 grams. So we're basically nearly 100 grams less Um, then a normal set with 20 bit sizes. And of course, this one, I wouldn't be able to fit it in a wallet. And there we go. Now it's about how to fit it all in the wallet. Now, um, because of a previous video, just want to show you that this is not part of my wallet. It goes in with my keys. Normally it's on my keychain. All the keys are in here. That's fine. Now this one here, uh, the Knipex Cobra, again, I'm, I am I used it with the wallet like that, but it's a bit too big. I think I would rather have it with some other tools. Again, there will probably be another video for all the tools and fountain pen, etc., which I've got in this little bag. It's not heavy. It looks big, but it's not. But now we are going to fit everything in the wallet. So here already, this is a credit card size sleeve. Inside, I've got a little pillbox, which is, of course, useful. And now I enter the Bantam Allox, which is... Uh, by Victorinox, a very good short Swiss Army knife, and I enter with a small side. Then um, I get all the little bits here and put those in a bag. I use a slightly larger bag um, because then it's much more convenient to get them in and out. And there we go, we are fitting them here in the sleeve. It's really nice and tight. There we go on the sleeve. Now we just have my cat is now joining us. Uh, we have the key here, and it all fits in a pocket. <laughs> and I have to laugh because we now have a visitor. Please uh, smile. This is Kalle. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. Kalle now reminds me that it's time to stop the whole thing and see you soon.